Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, the MPV from Hyundai, the 2023 Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT, and a subcompact crossover SUV from GAC, the GS3, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two subcompact SUVs, the Honda BRV VX AVT with Honda Tensing versus the Kia Seltos SX AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the installation of tuning of a Unichep. And together with the latest news and developments of the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the return of Infinity and JBL Car Audio in the Philippines as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Hyundai. This edition of Car Review takes a second look at the 2023 Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT. The compact MPV segment is getting a lot more crowded, making it tougher for competing brands to stand out from the crowd. Some try to do so with stylish design and exterior packages, others with premium interior materials and accents. Select advanced driver assist, smart connectivity, and safety features also help. Hyundai has taken to using all three strategies in varying degrees to make the 2023 Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT. At 4,460mm long, 1,780mm wide, and 1,695mm tall, the 2023 Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT easily falls in the category of compact MPVs. The Hyundai Stargazer easily stands out on the streets with a futuristic design, as showing the boxy design of most MPVs for a one-curved silhouette profile and a fascia with highlighted by a thin while horizontal line for DRLs, large striking LED headlights integrated with turn signals and front fog lamps, black-coated chrome grille. Also quite futuristic is the rear with the H-signature tail lamps that is quite distinctive at night. The top-of-the-line Stargazer also features chrome outside door handles, body-color rear-view mirrors that come with turn signal lights, and electric folding function, a rear spoiler with high-mount stoplight, shark fin antenna, and two-tone 16-inch alloy wheels. Hyundai claims the Stargazer has the longest wheelbase in the segment at 2,780mm and clears the ground by 185mm. The wheels are pushed down toward the corners of the Stargazer to provide a more capacious cabin for the 7-seater MPV. The Stargazer can claim to have the roomiest cabin in the segment with best-in-class head, shoulder, and legroom. The roominess is not the only good thing in the Stargazer cabin. One gets into the Stargazer 1.5 Premium very conveniently with smart keyless entry system that is integrated with a push-button start as well as remote edge start. The Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premier cabin features a lot of leatherette material for seats and the trim. The steering wheel that is also wrapped in leatherette tilts and telescopes to help the driver find his preferred driving position. It also comes with buttons and switches to control the audio as well as cruise control. The dash and instrument panel look both functional and futuristic, featuring the 4.2-inch SuperVision TFT display of the instrument cluster as well as the 8-inch touchscreen display for the infotainment system. 
The infotainment system comes with Bluetooth connectivity, voice recognition, as well as wireless Apple CarPlay and added auto, and four speakers plus two tweeters. The tray for the wireless charging of cell phone comes with cooling function. There are also USB charging ports, one in front and two for the second row. The vents and rotary controls for the air conditioning system look retro and futuristic at the same time. Also adding to comfort and convenience are the center armrest and adjustable dual cup holders on the center console. The middle row seat for three split 60-40, double folds and slides. The third row seat for two splits 50-50. This makes for flexible seating configurations that allow for creative seating and cargo arrangements. The Stargazer arrived with a SmartStream G1.5 engine with a 1,497cc displacement that generates 115 PS and 145 Nm of torque, all transmitted to the front wheels by Hyundai's Intelligent Variable Transmission or IVT. The Stargazer ride can be described as smooth, stable, and comfortable with a suspension system that uses the usual McPherson struts in front, but with Hyundai CDBA or coupled torsion beam axle in the rear. Stopping power comes from 15-inch disc brakes in front and 9-inch drums in the rear. Hyundai also seeks to make the Stargazer stand out by providing some of the latest advances in driving and safety technology. The Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium comes with nearly a full complement of Hyundai's ADAS or Advanced Driver Assistance System. These advanced features include Blind Spot Collision Avoidance Assist, Rear Cross Traffic Collision Avoidance Assist, Lane Keeping Assist, Driver Attention Warning, Safe Exit Warning, Forward Collision Avoidance Assist, Lane Following Assist, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, and High Beam Assist. Parking with the Stargazer is made easier with the rear view monitor and parking distance warning. Other standard safety features include hill start assist control, electronic stability control, anti-lock braking system, manual speed limit assist, and rear seat alert. Also added for safety are dual front side and curtain airbags and child seat anchors. The Hyundai Stargazer certainly can stand out in the crowd of MPVs. And it's not all about the futuristic design. The latest auto industry news and developments, right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track. And the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. Mitsubishi Strada Athlete, confident to the core. Welcome back to Auto Focus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Kia Philippines has added two more dealerships to its network, Kia Otis and Kia Marikina. Both under the management of AutoHub Group, the 43rd and 44th members of Kia's growing local network. Kia Otis and Kia Marikina are strategically located and feature the South Korean's brand new look. Kia Otis is located along President Quirino Avenue Extension in Paco, Manila, while Kia Marikina is easily accessible along A. Bonifacio Avenue, Loyola Subdivision, Barangka, Marikina City. Kia Philippines President Manny Aligada is confident that under the experience management of the AutoHub Group, the new dealerships will bring more joy to Kia customers, offering next-level service thanks to their very convenient locations and comfortable facilities. In adding Kia to AutoHub's multi-ranked dealership, AutoHub Group President Wheeler T10 said Kia has shown strong growth and massive potential while fitting in perfectly in the group's portfolio of trusted car brands. A new outlet for Hyundai will also soon rise in Bacoor, Cavite. Already, ground has been broken for the construction of Hyundai Bacoor, a new dealership will be managed and operated by the Borromeo Motoring Group. Hyundai Bacoor will rise along Molina Boulevard in Barangay Mambong and shall feature the new Hyundai Global Dealership Space Identity. It is scheduled to open in the second quarter of 2024. Chevrolet Makati celebrated the arrival of new members of the lineup of North American models now available locally. During the celebration, the Chevrolet Makati showroom exhibited the Camaro 3 LT RS and Tahoe High Country while putting the 2023 Corvette C8 on a spotlight. 
at the celebration of the World Class Chevrolet, the League of North American Chevys, the Covenant Car Company Inc., Chevrolet Philippines President and CEO Attorney Albert B. Arcira announced that the market can look forward to a steadier supply of Chevys like the Suburban, the Camaro, and the Tahoe. All will come with TCCCI's signature five-year warranty set. Chang'an Auto unveiled the vast ocean plan to develop its overseas market during the recently concluded automotive industry exhibition in Shanghai, China. The plan calls for launching 30 global products in 3,000 new overseas outlets by 2025 as part of a strategy to branch farther into Europe, the Americas, Middle East and Africa, Asia Pacific and the Commonwealth of Independent States. By 2030, Chang'an aims to exceed the target of selling 1.2 million units annually worldwide, adding 10,000 employees to its overseas teams and partners while transforming into what it calls an intelligent low-carbon travel technology company. Chang'an manifested this vision during the Shanghai Motor, showcasing the company's full range of new energy products, including the S7, SL03, UniV IDD, UniK IDD, Z6 IDD, and Lumen. Chang'an Motor Philippines Inc. is committed to drive and support the global brand's vast ocean plant. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile malls belong to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head pits the Honda BRV VX CVT against the Kia Seltos SX automatic transmission in a spec to spec comparison. Do you want a 7-seater or a 5-seater SUV for a family vehicle? Or a daily driver that's also good for a weekend adventure out of the city? Let's check out two possible choices to compare specs and features of the 7-seater Honda BRV VX CVD against those of the 5-seater Kia Seltos SX80. The Honda BRV VX CVT is 4,490mm long, 1,780mm wide, and 1,680mm tall, with a 2,700mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 207mm. The Kia Seltos SX80 is shorter at 4,370mm long but wider at 1,800mm, not as tall at 1,650mm and lower on the ground at 170mm. It also has a shorter wheelbase at 2,630mm. The Honda BRV VX CVD comes with full LED headlights, daytime running lights, tail lamps and high mount stop lamp as well as a single exhaust pipe, roof rails, tailgate, spoiler and front and rear wipers with wash and rear windshield defoggers. The top-of-the-line BRV also features headlights with auto on-off function and body color side view mirrors with integrated turn signals that power just in power fold. Trucks in type antenna and 17-inch alloy wheels strapped by 215-55R17 or V tires. Also distinguishing the VX are the silver bumper skin and side cell garnish and chrome door handles. The Kia Seltos SX80 comes with projector type LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, LED front fog lamps, LED rear combination lamps, black and silver molding on grill, turn light indicators on side view mirrors, and roof rails. Other exterior features include fin type antenna, satin finish on belt line molding, rear window defogger, rear spoiler with LED high mount stop lamp, and 21555R17 tires mounted on 17 inch alloy rims. The top-of-the-line BRV VX is equipped with a smart entry system to get into the roomy cabin with three rows of seating for seven passengers. Upholstered in leather, the VX front seat slides and reclines and the features height adjuster for the driver. 
the second row seat for 3 splits and tumble 60-40, with just one touch of a button and features a fold-down armrest. The third row seat for 2 splits 50-50 and can be folded flat. The BRV VX interior features two tone piano black and silver accents and an instrument cluster using a 14-inch full-color TFT meter. The leather-wrapped steering wheel tilts but does not telescope and comes in control with the audio system and paddle shifters. Other comfort and convenience features include one-button push start with remote start function, automatic air conditioning, rear ventilation, power windows, speed sensing auto door locks, two cup and six bottle holders, multiple grab rails. The Seltos SX comes with smart entry system with illuminated push-button start. The three-spoke leather upholstery steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features buttons for audio, Bluetooth, and cruise control. The front seat slides and reclines with driver's seat also adjusting for height. The center console box doubles as a sliding armrest. The second row seat splits 60-40, reclines and folds flats. Seats are upholstered in fabric and leather and material. Other interior features include scuff plates, twin front cup holders, four bottle holders, two 12-volt power outlets, power windows, singles and automatic air conditioning. The BRV VX comes with an infotainment system with a 7-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth and two USB ports, and six speakers. Infotainment on the Seltos comes from an 8-inch touchscreen, AM FM radio, MP3 player, USB port, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and six speakers. The Honda BRV VX is powered by a new 1.5 LDOHI VTEC engine generating 121 PS and 145 Nm of torque made it a continuously variable transmission that sends power and torque to the front wheels. The BRV suspension system uses front McPherson struts and torsion beam in the rear. The brake system uses ventilated discs in front and drums in the rear. The Kia Seltos 2.0 SX is powered by a 2.0-liter inline 4-cylinder gasoline engine, a double overhead cam and DCVVT that generates 149 horsepower and 179 Nm of torque. An intelligent variable transmission sends power and torque to the front wheels. The suspension features McPherson struts and stabilizer in front and a coupled torsion beam axle in the rear. The brake system uses this on all four wheels. The all-new BRV VX comes in Honda Sensing, a suite of advanced safety technologies that include lead car departure notification system, collision mitigation brake system, lane keeping assist system, road departure mitigation system with lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, and auto high beam. It is also equipped with anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability assist, hill start assist, security alarm, immobilizer emergency stop signal, walkaway auto lock, reverse camera with guidelines and parking sensors. Other safety and driver assist features include Honda Lane Watch, Rear Seat Reminder, Side Curtain Airbags, 3-point Seat Belts for 7, Driver and Front Passenger Seat Belt Reminder, Isofix Child Seat Anchor. He equipped the Seltos SX with driver assist and safety technologies that includes anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control, downhill brake control, and hill start assist control. Standard in the Seltos are Driver and Front Passenger Airbags, 3-point ELR Seat Belts with Pretensioners for 4, plus 2-point Seat Belt for the Rear Middle Seat Passenger, Isofix Child Seat Anchors, Child Locks, and Anti-Theft System. After checking out the exterior, interior, safety, and driver assist features of the Honda BRV VX and the Kia Seltos SX, which would you rather have? The 7 seater or the 5 seater? Zoom UX. Take the lead. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Life comes at you fast. If you're brave enough, drive right back at it. Brave the big city or the great outdoors. Brave the carpool or the extra cargo. 
Brave the unexpected with Honda Sensing. Brave the long road with fuel efficiency to reach your destination. The all-new Honda BRV. Brave the next level. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Among the crowd drawers in the recent Manila International Auto Show were cars with special audio systems. One with JBL, the other with Infinity Car audio speakers. This special feature is all about the return of these two premium auto sound brands. So JBL is targeting the younger crowd also, the target market that loves to listen to pop music, the more um, dynamic music, rock. Basically, when we set up with a JBL, it's like a concert hall for you, a concert experience. For Infinity in particular, um, the branding is all about the details of sound. So if you talk about details, I think it's easier when you say people who prefer jazz, who prefer classical music, who will bring out vocals. So the Infinity sound system will definitely have that. So that's in terms of marketing. In terms of sound, uh, that is also in relation to the marketing. Number one, JBL as a, is an established brand. JBL has been here since 1940s pa. So kumbaga, matagal na ang JBL sa industriya. So mapapagkatiwalaan ang produkto nito. Now, uh, isa pa, sa JBL, meron naman tayong customer support na makakatulong. Ang dealers sumusuporta rin sa amin, yun ang advantage. And maraming pagpipili ang model at uh, use with the brand JBL. In relation to marketing, in terms of sound quality, JBL will give you a more a fuller dynamic um, sound characteristic. And then the Infinity sound system will definitely give you give out more details and highs and treble. So we have a Facebook and Instagram for both brands. So for Facebook, it's JBL Car Audio Philippines and Infinity Car Audio Philippines. For Instagram, it's JBL Car PH. And for Infinity, it's Infinity um, Car PH as well. Anything that um, as long as there's the human, there's the trend, and there's, there, there's a car and equipment, wherever they go, we try to go. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Um, for example, before it was really a stock install. Ito yung koche, I need speakers. Install lang agad. But uh, for the next three to five years, and even the recent three to five years, we've been seeing a shift on the digital space. Example, yung first question para ng mga tao is, may Apple CarPlay ba? or my Bluetooth or um, wireless um, in, in your sound system or your, in, your, in your equipment. So there's also that shift in digital space of connection and connectivity and that's where we're gearing our products and offerings to. Um, and so basically, in summary, it's also where the lifestyle goes for the market. If you are not too happy with how your in-car audio sounds, try checking out the guys with the JBL and Infinity audio systems and see how they can help. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the Toyota We Go. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fixed Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. 
Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes, from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services, as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. The subcompact crossover is perhaps the fastest growing segment in the local automotive market. This car view takes a look at one entry into this crowded market from Chinese car manufacturer GAC Motor. <laughs> Since it joined the local automotive market in 2018, GAC Motor Philippines has quickly grown its local lineup of vehicles to include sedans, MPVs, SUVs, and crossovers. Its entry into the subcompact crossover market is a GAC GS3. At 4,350mm long, 1,825mm wide, and 1,655mm tall, and with a 2,560mm long wheelbase, the GAC GS3 is among the longer, wider and taller entries in the 5-seater subcompact segment. The GS3 can stand out in a crowd of crossovers with its distinctive grille with the large GAC logo front and center, the eagle eye halogen headlamps, the unique rear LED combination lights that outline an infinity symbol when lit, as well as a floating roof design. Soft curves and sharp lines project both a sporty yet elegant persona that should appeal both to the young and youngish. GAC Motor offers three variants of the GS3 at three price points. The entry-level 1.5 Gas AT GS, the mid-level 1.5 AT Premier, and the top-of-the-line 1.3 Gas AT GE. They can be easily distinguished from each other by wheel and tire sizes. The entry-level comes with 16-inch rims and 65-series tires. The mid-level with 17-inch rims and 60-series tires, and the top-of-the-line with 18-inch rims and 55-series tires. The Premier and the 1.3 GE come with LED daytime running lights and front fog lamps. All have power adjustable side mirrors, but only the top of the line 1.3 GE come with power folding as well as defogging and defrosting functions. Also distinguishing the 1.3 GE is the shark fin antenna. The top of the line GS3 comes with smart keyless entry and one button start. All three share the same dark and elegant interior motif, but lots of soft touch surfaces in the leather trim steering wheel. They also share a 6-way adjustable driver seat and 4-way adjustable front passenger seat. Both the two more expensive variants come with multifunction steering wheel. The Premier and the GE get leather and leatherette trim seats while the entry-level GS3 feature fabric upholstery. The mid-level and top-of-the-line GS3 also feature front power windows, automatic air conditioning with negative ion air filter and second-row air vents, sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors and 12-volt power outlet in the cargo area. Only the top-of-the-line GS3 is equipped with folding center armrests with cup holders on the second row seat. Only the two top variants feature an 8-inch TFT color screen display for the infotainment, Bluetooth hands-free phone system, rear row USB port, six speakers, as well as the cruise control. The entry-level GS3 only have your basic AM, FM, and MP3 WMA player with front USB port and four speakers. The 1.5 GS and the 1.5 Premier are powered by a 1,495cc gasoline engine that generates 113 horsepower and 150 Nm of torque. The 1.3 G is powered by a 1,325cc turbocharged gasoline engine that generates 136 horsepower and 202 Nm of torque. All variants feature the all-new ISIN 6-speed automatic transmission that sends power to the front wheels, as well as an eco-drive mode to help save fuel. The GS3 also comes standard with front McPherson type independent suspension, twisting beam suspension in the rear and all wheel disc brakes, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. It also comes with electric power steering. All GS3 variants offered locally share a lot of safety features as standard. These include dual front airbags, front row seat belts with pretensioners and force limiters, Isofix child safety anchors, second row child safety door lock, impact sensing door unlock. Also standard are passive and active safety features including electronic stability program, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, traction control system, hydraulic brake assist, hill start hold control, and hill descent control. Both the Premier and the 1.3G are equipped with front side airbags, 
but only the top of the line GS3 feature electronic parking brake with auto hold, as well as the tire pressure monitoring system. GAC Motor has not been shy about proclaiming that it is a Chinese manufacturer and distributor of world-class vehicles. After all, the Philippines is just one of 26 countries in five major regions of the world where it has established its presence. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hey, today we'll be showing you how a Unichip is installed, how it is tuned, and what are the benefits of actually getting one installed in your car. And uh, here we have a 2017 Toyota Vios with the latest dual VVTi engine that already has an intake and a header. So we're going to be installing Unichip next on this car to get more power. In a nutshell, what Unichip is, it's a computer that goes on top of the stock ECU and we're able to program this to give different commands to the ECU that says, okay, give us more fuel, give us less fuel, give us more spark plug timing, give us less spark plug timing, and among other things. More advanced features are we could use this to control additional injectors to supply a turbocharger, injector controllers for diesel engines, nitrous control, and sometimes also map switching. We can have up to five different maps for this one, such as if you want valet mode, total shutdown mode, immobilizer mode, and all of that. And this is where Unichip is installed. It's going to be installed very, very near the car's ECU, which in this case for the Vios, it's hidden behind the glove compartment. So it's eight wires to install. On most other cars nowadays, the computer box is usually found in the engine bay. Like if you have a Civic, you have a Jazz, you have a Focus. All the computer boxes are now found inside the engine and that's where Unichip will also be installed. So the way that we install it is we have to cut and splice a few wires, it's normally about eight. Those are power, ground, uh, throttle position, crank position, mass airflow sensor, among other things. So every joint we actually solder and then we shrink wrap and we tape over. So rest assured that nothing will get shorted, nor will it catch fire. That simply does not happen. This is a Unichip wiring diagram, only we have access to it, the official Unichip installer for the Philippines, which is us in Speed Lab. In the Unichip database, there are over a thousand cars that have diagrams for it. It ranges from something as old as a 1996 Corolla 4AFA engine to the latest Ranger Raptor, which we're going to be available in a few months. So it's basically eight wires here. These are the eight wires that connect to the Unichip, then these eight wires connect to the wiring harness of the ECU. It's, by the way, just the wiring harness, not the ECU itself. We don't open this up, we don't touch this, so that remains as is. A little bit of history about Unichip. This has been around actually for the better part of 25 years. The guy who invented it, Peter De Vert, is Dutch. He currently lives in South Africa. That's where he produces it. I think he gets a special government grant from the South African government for that one. And then it's actually exported all over the world. Uh, you can check it out on the internet, you can check out all the reviews, it's there. It's Unichip because it really is universal. We can use it for pretty much anything with an ECU. Gas, diesel, Chinese, European, American, Japanese, Korean cars. As long as it's an ECU, most likely we can install Unichip on it. So there are still certain cars like this Toyota Vios. You cannot remap the ECU. You cannot change the settings inside the ECU. So your only option for tuning is with the Unichip. All right, now uh, the Unichip is now connected to the ECU. For this particular car, we're using the Unichip Q4, which has an additional four wires to control the throttle because all cars now have electronic throttle. Uh, what this basically does is it equalizes the throttle opening because with all cars nowadays what happens is you step on the pedal this fast the throttle butterfly opens this fast that's the delay that everybody is complaining about with all modern cars you step on it like this it goes like this so what the unit chip does with the throttle control is it makes it one is to one you step on it fast it opens fast also so resulting in a mas malakas sumibat na koche 
So right now, it's connected to the ECU, everything's working, the car's running, the engine is running, uh, it revs fine. There are no check engine lights whatsoever, so that means that installation is done correctly and everything is working. Uh, with every Unichip install, we actually put in a unique starting program depending on what the ECU is. Uh, in the Unichip database, there are over 100 starting programs for 100 different cars and 100 different vehicle models and makes and engines actually. So after this one, we're going to be putting the car on the dyno and we're going to be tuning it there to see what the final horsepower is. Uh, horsepower and torque actually. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to be putting it on now. Okay, we're done with the tuning of the Vios here with the Unichip and this is the results. This red line here is the baseline power. This already has our colder intake and our headers. So it's about 91 horses, which is actually pretty good for a 1.3 car. For reference, 90 horses or so is the territory of about 1.5 cars like the Jazz and the 1.5 Vios. This blue line here is after tuning with the Unichip. So at peak power, we're at 100 horses, so it's almost 10 horses more at 6,000 RPM. But the biggest gain here is actually, if you look at the torque graph on this side, at the initial step, there's about 6 foot-pounds here. This is even bigger, it's about 8 foot-pounds. Then this dip here is another 8 foot-pounds. So, and this is at the very critical 1,800 to 3,500 area where most of your overtaking happens. So the end result is a faster car, more powerful, a lot more responsive, and drive normally, given this, you should see about 8 to 10% better mileage. So that's basically the whole Unichip install and tuning process. As from start to finish, it took us about three hours total from wiring up the car to putting it on the dyno to tuning it to getting out of the dyno. So it's probably less than half a day. And, and you walk away with 10 horses on a 1.3 Vios. For other cars, say bigger engines like a 1.8 Civic, it's anywhere from 12 to 15 horses more. For turbo diesels, we actually get 40, sometimes 50 horses more. The best part is when you sell the car, you can actually take the unit chip out install it in whatever next car that you're going to purchase be a gasoline car diesel car any brand as long as it has an ecu your unit chip can be installed in that and can be tuned again reused make more power for your new car that's our feature in autopedia this week taking care of your ride has been made easier and that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this episode of your Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.